Hey, butcher, I'm a customer. Hey, customer, I'm a butcher. What can I do you for? What's good for the grill? How many people are you cooking for? I don't know, I'm thinking like 15 to 20. Oh, nice barbecue you're putting together. Sure am, celebrating. Celebrating what? My divorce. That's fantastic. Here are our favorite moves for throwing the best barbecue, getting the most for your money. Check it out! It's way cheaper to buy a whole chicken rather than buying pieces of breast or leg. I'm gonna spatchcock a chicken! That means cut the backbone out of it. It's one even piece so that the legs, the thighs, the breasts will all cook evenly. You can put it on the grill. This is our pork shoulder. Why I love this so much, you can see the eye of what would be the pork chop right here. But then look at all this like beautiful fat, beautiful marbling, and this darker muscle. You're essentially getting a pork chop with more meat on it for anywhere from, I would say, a third, like 25 to 50% less money than you're paying for the pork chop which is literally right here. People wanna always sell you the middles. The middles are the more expensive part whenever you go to a meat store. They wanna sell you the pork chop, but the pork shoulder chop has usually been just kind of relegated to like pulled pork. But there is this really, really nice area where you can grill a pork shoulder chop. You're not spending all that money. So it's gonna be a few dollars less. It'll be bigger, feeds more people, and no joke, this is my favorite piece to cook of pork. Top cap. It is less tender, but who cares when you're cutting it up really, really, really thin. You can see the graining is kind of like a skirt steak or a bavette. If we're gonna be making tacos, we're just gonna be slicing really, really thin pieces after we cook a whole piece as one. So you can really get away with any kind of cheaper cut. One of our best options here is what we call the old 96er, which is a sirloin surrounded by the other muscle groups around it. So you get a little bit of filet, sirloin, pequena, and tri-tip, but because you're getting everything all at once, we tend to value it a little bit less. So you're actually getting a steak that'll feed 15 for about 15.99, which is on the lower end. We're gonna face this and cut our old 96er. And 96er. We have our top sirloin, we have our pequena, we have our tri-tip, and we have a little bit of filet. So we have our big centerpiece steak, we have our taco meat, we have our pork shoulder chops, and we have our spatchcock chicken. Now we're gonna season these and we're gonna throw them on the grill. Let's celebrate that divorce. We're here in the backyard of our butcher shop. Here's a disclaimer for you. We're paying New York State tax, and we're paying New York City rent prices. Thanks, so, New York. Yeah, you're a peach. While yes, this is probably more than you're gonna be paying in wherever else in the world you are, like you can get away with a good amount of food, like easily for 30 people for about 150 to 170 dollars. This is about 20 bucks. Yeah. About a pound and a half of meat there. Okay, whole chicken, another 20 bucks. Yep. Pork shoulder chops. These are, were total about three pounds, so this is about $30 all in. And uh, 96 or this is what six pounds or 96 ounces of meat actually looks like, which means this is just over $100. So all in, we got $170. But it also looks like we're gonna feed probably closer to a 30 A hell people. of a lot more than 20 people. Yeah. We got a little bit more in our budget to round it out um, for, no one wants to say it, but vegetables. And uh, um, our fixings for our tacos. All right, let's grill. Our really big guy is gonna hit the grill before anything else. It's gonna take the longest. And chicken probably hitting around the same time, you think? Yeah, chicken's still chicken. It's the only thing that we need to cook all the way through. And uh, most of the time, cooking a whole chicken takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Hit our pork shoulder chops, because these, we can cook to medium rare, and then quick flash on the top cap. So we cooked, um, feeling pretty great about all of it, especially these pork chops. I think your chicken looks really great. Hey, thanks bro. I think you did a really, really good job on that chicken. Let's start, just gonna cut this into a few pieces. It's tacos, man. Don't be precious about it. 
We're just cutting them up thin against the grain. Let us take a break and make a taco. May I make you a taco? Yeah. A little bit of taco meat goes a long way. So not only are you buying a cheap cup, instead of having a budget like six or eight ounces a person, budget two or three, because everyone's just gonna have a taco. Let's do a pork chop. You don't have to be precious about it at all. You're just cutting it off the bone. You don't have to worry about the grain or going against it. This is just gonna be really, really flavorful. Now that it's cooked, we can cut it into the individual steaks, cut out the little bit of fat, and then that, that way everybody knows what they're trying, and they get to try something different. So big sirloin in the center. Can't be mad about that. All right, let's try this picanha. Ooh, I'm gonna go outside. Holy hell. That's even better than the tri-tip, I think. It's more tender. Yeah. And last but not least, our tenderloin. What's amazing to me is like that filet, that size, would cost $60, probably. Just for the just for the fillet alone in a restaurant. Now let's eat a chicken. So we need that. Yeah, I was hoping for a chicken after tacos and pork and four cuts of steak. Got a Come preference? On. I'm gonna go light meat. I'm gonna Ooh. go breast. God damn, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it's a good day when you wonder whether oh, you like the grilled chicken, steak, or pork chop better. Yeah. Just slow roasted, salt and pepper. Yeah. Hopefully we got a cross. You shouldn't be intimidated going to your butcher shop. Uh-uh. And getting a full spread for you and yours. Mm -mm. For pretty cheap. Like this is not gonna feed 20 people. This could feed 25 or 30 people. Or 40. And we spent about $170. You could spend even less than this, like getting like just burgers and dogs if you wanted to. But this is a killer spread that's gonna cost probably about seven or eight dollars a person. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna pull some noodles. This is just dough. Nothing special about it. So what I'm doing is kind of pulling on it. At the same time, 